Chuck Norris. Let me, let me try um, something on you. The, the, that's the kind of thing Barbara Walters does so well. But I, I remember a kind of um, thing that would be a dramatic scene in the story of your life. And I'd just be curious to know if it's anything like mm -hmm. it was. So many of these things aren't as printed. Um, the last time we talked to you, and I think you mentioned here that your father, who was Cherokee, mm -hmm. uh, abandoned you. And what I read was a scene that sounded almost too dramatic to be in real life, that he returned at some point in your life to beat up the man your mother had, her, oh, her current husband. Yeah. Is this? Well, what had happened is my mother, you know, divorced my real father yeah. and remarried a real nice fellow. My stepfather's just a tremendous guy. Yeah. And uh, my dad showed up, you know, when I was uh, 17. And uh, yeah, he was threatening. He was going threatening to beat up my 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 stepfather, who was a small fellow. And uh, <laughs> first time in my life, I faced off my real father. And my dad's a big yeah. man. And uh, had a bad temper and tough. <laughs> and uh, but once we squared off, you know, my real father realized this wasn't the way to go, and he left. That was the last time I ever saw him, as a matter of fact. Um. I hope it wasn't just prurient curiosity that made me lead, lead into that, but it just seems such an incredibly dramatic moment. If it, could you could you now play that in a film of your life? Uh, I don't know if I'd want would to. You want the same? <laughs> those are those are situations in your life you like to try to forget. Something you know, because my, my real father's dead now, and yeah. and the thing is, I reflect back. You know, my dad was an alcoholic. My real father. Yeah. And in those days, you know, uh, they were drunkards. You know, he looked at them as drunkards. But as now, of course, now you realize that it's a disease, like mm -hmm. any other type of drug, right. and that it was something that they could not get over. And uh, and I reflect back, and and I I realize that my dad was uh, suffering from a, yeah. an addiction. So you may even feel a certain amount of guilt that you weren't sympathetic enough. Well, I wrote my book. When I wrote my book, uh, the secret of inner strength, and Dean, yeah. and taught these stories oh. that you're bringing up, yeah. Yeah. was in my book. Um, as I wrote the book, I, you know, I started realizing a lot of things. And one is that the hostility that I had toward my real father, right. was, you know, I kind of uh, it dissipated mm -hmm. because I started realizing as I wrote the book, you know, that my dad was a sick man, and yeah. uh, that it was not something that he w wanted to do. It was something it was in, you know, that right. he was afflicted with. And so I really, the hostility that I carried, really, mm -hmm. I, I eliminated from myself at that time. Did you know that um, Orson Welles, everyone always wished he would write an autobiography and he never really did. And that in a little brief article he once wrote for French Vogue, at the very end of it, it said he opened just a little bit and said, I feel I killed my father. I've always felt I did. Uh, perhaps I'll talk about this again sometime. Yeah. And that. I guess it was Bogdanovich found out that it was so later so that it was that his father was an alcoholic, and they said, "If you don't stop drinking, we're never going to see you again." Mm. And that the father went off and committed suicide. And oh, Wells really? carried that through his whole life, yeah. and I wondered if you could identify at least with that feeling of uh, to have well, an alcoholic father yeah. and uh, to not see alcoholism in the enlightened way we do now, supposedly. Well, our um, thing too is, you know, my dad would leave for months on end, and we wouldn't see him four or five months and then he'd show up yeah. and when he did show up he was drunk the whole time so you know uh, he, my dad didn't you know didn't really work or anything so you know it really wasn't yeah. it might have been a little bit different than Orson's situation I'm not sure. True yeah. Can you see how you might have turned out really badly? <laughs> was there ever a fork that you took happened to take the right <laughs> So well, of course, I think we all have uh, uh, decisions to make in our lives, and, and those decisions can go one, good or go bad. And uh, yeah, uh, there's been close calls in my life where I could have gone down the wrong road. Uh, quitting school, I came close to quitting high school. Um, and then, of course, there's, you know, luckily for me, I, I had a very strong mother. I had a very strong, moral, religious mother who really helped keep me on the track. Irish. Irish woman. And uh, so I have to give her the credit for keeping me on the right track yeah. until I was able to find myself in life and, and decide what it was I wanted to do. So uh, my mother was really the driving force for me uh, to maintain my faith 
and the things yeah. that I could achieve in my life. That's got to be gratifying then to have made it possible for her to say, uh, my son had dinner at the White House the other night. So. Yeah, oh, I, I tell you, my mother loves this. <laughs> my mother is a type where, you know, I'll be walking with her, I'll go to her, visit with her, and I'll go grocery shopping with her, and I'll be walking down the aisle, and my mom's the type says, oh, you know who my son is? My son's Chuck Norris. Hey, you know, like, I said, Mom, <laughs> like that. this is a retirement community of the average age is 80. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, Mom, not everybody knows who I am. You know, and but she's she's that type, you know. And my mom is the my mom is the is the national psychiatrist. When you meet her, immediately you feel like she's the woman I can call when I have a problem. And, and if I have fallen, I want her to pick me up. Exactly. But, you know. And so in turn, when I call home, the phone's busy. You know, probably 20 hours of the day because people are calling and, and and laying their problems on to mom. She's dispensing her good. Yeah, yes, mom, mom's a listener. Could I get, real good could listener. I get her number later? I really absolutely. Cause she, she would could, love to hear from you, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, she would listen to you too. Uh, to uh, make us feel better, those of us who uh, envy you and uh, see you on the screen doing so well, can you think of something you're ashamed of, or better, something you're afraid of? Afraid of? Yeah. We know uh, that martial arts build confidence for those who, and uh, I mean, are you afraid elevators will fall or the snake will come out and get you? No. Or you jump up and yell eek if a mouse runs across the room or pull your No, see, I'm not, afraid of, I'm not fr afraid of anything like that because, you know, I've, you know I've, I've raced cars, I've raced boats, yeah. you know, uh, I've flown jets, I've, you know, I've done, I've skydived, I've scuba dived, you know, I, and. Uh, Would you go underwater in a sealed box and do an escape? Scene in a movie? I don't think so. <laughs> water is one of the things I, I, I try to avoid. I'm not a good swimmer. Uh, water, you know, is one of the things that. Oh, good, good. I I there is something. And but I've scuba dived and yeah. I've raced boats trying to overcome that basic fear. But I still but have. You've had a fear of water. Yeah. And that from being the classic thrown in as a kid. And I don't know what the reason was. My mom even remembers when I was a youngster that, you know, my cousin who was the same age as me. I would yeah. go near water and I'd grab him, you know, and say, no, 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 you. and I don't know where it came from, I have ah, no idea. so there is, a, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd be happy to, <laughs> I've read a little Freud, if you want to, if you want to lie down and free associate. <laughs> uh, well, what's your resting heartbeat? That's a real personal question. Uh, about 48. 48. Yeah. You work out, you keep in shape, mm -hmm. you're somewhere in your 50s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I got to tell you, I, your work and your, the stuff you do with kids and, and the drug things you've done, are really, you're one of our best citizens. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud to sit here with you. Well, thanks. Thank so you thanks for being God. here. Another hey, show has fled. It's a real pleasure. Thank you. Uh, this is Chuck Norris. And if, once again, don't say, why would you have him on? <laughs> kind of a panty waist to be afraid of water. <laughs> oh, so long. <laughs>